Okay, guys, I wanted to take a second to explain why you can no longer see the article on Thursday. Okay, since we're running out of time, I'm having to modify a little bit what we're doing. And so I'm more worried about whether or not you read this article and you understand what the article is about. So I removed the assignment from Thursday because it has a lot of extra stuff we were going to try to get done that we're just not going to get done. Okay. And then I went ahead back in and you'll notice that on these different slides, I highlighted two important statements from the paragraphs you read yesterday and gave you a gist statement. It'll be very similar to what you wrote. OK, I did the same thing on the next slide. OK, we talked about here um, the two important things I highlighted and the gist statement. And I did the same thing here. OK, so real quick, just to recap this article. Remember, we have the Dinka tribe. Many of them have been forced to go live in refugee camps. And this article is about uh, the marriage celebration of the Duke Fuel family. OK, so on this first slide, we read about how the Duke Fuel family is celebrating a wedding, but they are not given any cattle because the boy's family who wants to marry the Duke Fuel's daughter has no cattle to give since they're all in a refugee camp. OK, our next paragraph on slide three talked about how there was a 40 year war in Sudan. All right. And that's the reason the Duke Fuel family and other Dinka families are in a refugee camp. And because of that. They've lost all of their cattle, which is like a super important part of their culture. OK. And the last paragraphs that we read yesterday in class talked about how they used to make negotiations. So if the Duke Fuel family had a daughter who wanted to who uh, was of age to get married, other families would make offers and they would say, hey, I'll give you 50 cattle. I'll give you 60 cattle. I'll give you 80 cattle if you let my young son marry your daughter. And that's how it would work. And nowadays in the refugee camps, they still make those negotiations, but they have to agree with handshakes because there's no cattle to give. And that's super uh, a super tough stance for a lot of the Dinka tribes to understand or to take because they've lost all of their land. Right. And they've lost their cattle, the most important part. So for class today, what I want you to do is read slide five, this paragraph, highlight the two most important phrases and write a gist statement. And then read slide six, highlight the two most important phrases and write a gist statement. Do not do slide seven. We'll do that together on Monday. If you have any questions, you can always email me um, if this is confusing or you can comment on the post and I'll try to clear anything up.